So anyway, since Eve oh was... Oh god. Give me a give me a So much about Spurging. I mean, they try to go where we'll sell vanity items and give people human player avatars. And it's great that it backfired so much. Because it's it's time that something like that finally backfired on the people making the game. It was super pro. Hmm. I think you could also consider that the the makers of EVE, because they're the people making that game, are the biggest birds ever. So therefore they uh, really wouldn't know... Actually, no, the guys actually, making that game are fucking brilliant. The people who made that game are like... They were, for a while, they were so rich that uh, EVE headquarters was basically a giant cook party for uh, six months straight. <laughs> Let me put it this way, they were so rich that they literally had more money than the nation which housed their headquarters. <laughs> that they blew it all away and now some somehow a bankrupt <laughs> Russian billionaire owns half their company. I would love to help. Well, I'm not saying they're uh, not brilliant, to fight I'm saying off they're off you see, you have to understand, I mean, it's so easy for people who don't have autism to take advantage of those who do. So, I see your point. See, oh my well, god. There's many kinds Valve of software. It's a sexy painting cosplay. Yeah, but people you can't keep... say Gabe is not, like, a pretty big Spurglord himself. Gabe might not be, but Gabe's not the only one running that country, or company. <laughs> Gabe has a board of directors in there. Okay, that was the best fruit and slip ever. Might as well call it a country. The United States of Valve. Man. So, they're treating My Little Pony. Gabe Newell is the size of a country. Ho 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 ho. What were you saying about My Little Pony? Are they finally banning it and killing all of its fans? No, they were banning it. Slowly. Yes. That is the human happiness, uh, I believe, is the main subject of the show. For instance, let us turn to the cutie mark. The so important the mark manifests itself after the pony finds for itself a goal or career in which to find fulfillment. It is almost an Aristotelian way of looking at things. That the way to become whole is to find virtue and goals which to grow oneself. That, of course, is the ever-important friendship. For we can also find Aristotle speaking of good company as being necessary for eudaimonia uh, yeah, or yeah, human okay. flourishing. I can't handle this much autism. From this I say we could reasonably conclude sure that My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, is a show displaying Aristotelian virtue as the path to happiness. Fuck off. Aristotelian? Oh. I don't really know how you pronounce Aristotelian. That's how my that's how my philosophy professor pronounced it. You know, I don't know why you guys aren't down with me for killing all white people. I mean, if we killed all white people, there would be no bronies. My problem is you're definitely That's like white saying people. since your definition so, includes the Japanese, I'd kind of die too. So, if so I were guy... white, then I might agree with you, Fist. But I, I'm afraid to join it's a pretty white would too. Mean would ultimately be my own destruction. Hey, it's for the greater good, man. Mm. You have to sacrifice yourself to eliminate bronies. So look at look, just look at it this way. No woman is ever to take going to have sex with me, so there's no danger oh. of me reproducing. Oh, oh god. Crap. So there's a bunch of posts here about like homosexuality being a choice and a bunch of stupid sexist troper dudes. And the one guy replies saying that's like people choosing to like My Little Pony. It's not a choice due to automatic processes in your uh, processes in your brain. You can't control what goes on in your head. Like being a what? pony is a choice. A terrible choice. He's comparing liking My Little Pony to homosexuality. That seems pretty uh, accurate to me. Yeah, I don't see the problem with that, per se. We'll see. Here's the thing, guys. A I mean, obviously, no white person, or nobody who's not white is ever going to watch Friendship is Magic. But, uh, the no, problem no, is, no, is that if you outlaw well, oh, yeah, the show, and you outlaw yeah, bronies, then they're just going to hide it and move into the shadows, so the only way that we can make sure that all bronies are dead is to kill all white people. There is no other way. It's like cutting off a leg to stop an infection. It's for the greater good. 
Aspiring Dark Lord, Satanile Mac Malastino, God Killer Von Hellington, the All Deathbringer. What? It took yeah, a missile to the forehead. I've never ever heard for anything. That's so intimidating. <laughs> Although I gotta say, I'm gonna memorize that. Next time I pull out my dick, I'm gonna say that in a really, like, ominous voice. Aspiring Dark Lord, Satanel Mac Malastin, oh God Killer Von Hellington, the All Deathbringer. And then you whip out your I dick. I thought he'd be bigger. And then you whip out your dick right after that <laughs> and make like a lightning bolt noise. <laughs> you have come to a world called Deathbringer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking troopers. I wonder if they realize how fucking ridiculous and fucked up they are. Probably not. I wouldn't want to if I was, so... I guess not. They are chanting down with American imperialism in Manila. The Sydney protesters are against American influence in Australian affairs. Tokyo's protests are similar. Down with nuclear power and down with the U.S.-led Trans-Pacific Free Trade Agreements? So what gives exactly? I mean, haven't we showed most of the world friendship for the last hundred years? Take the Philippines, <laughs> yes. for example. The Just what does a country like America right have to do to get the Filipinos to like them friendship. anyway? Wasn't liberating them from Spanish and Japanese occupation enough? But somehow the country that saved them is to blame for their own problems? No. We this have haven't have. we shown most of the world friendship? This I troper, literally have never seen anyone in my life who isn't white. This troper knows nothing about imperialism. Yeah, that, that would be pretty accurate. And I mean, let's be honest, why the fuck do we still have a military base in Japan anyway? Can't we just fucking not have one? Because we want to protect South Korea from North Korea. No, yeah, that that would be like trying to that would be like wanting to protect a professional boxer from a quadriplegic midget. The answer is always because empire. <laughs> also because empire. Because we need to have something in that quadrant of the planet. You see, it's like the U.S. Federation of Planets. Close all military like bases. Send all baby killers home. Cut military spending by seventy-five percent. Ron Paul, 2012. Yeah, here Congress wants to Congress wants to cut veteran healthcare benefits yeah. again because it's socialism. Yeah, I noticed. Good. I don't know why we should pay oh, to keep former baby killers alive. Him. Because oh, then cool. they have the PTSD and then they shoot up Holocaust museums. Yeah, that's true. Though that took a long time to happen. And it may or may not have been Glenn Beck's fault. Well, but he did no, rape no, him in 1990. They had nothing to do with that. You're thinking of the Tide Shooter. That was a completely isolated event. Have you guys I've ever noticed that America is the only nation that has lone nuts? Well, up until that, uh, Norwegian shooter who came straight out and admitted multiple times over multiple spans of years that he was working with a group called the Knights Templar. Oh, Knights Templar! Just we're just gonna pretend that they don't exist because white people cannot be terrorists, guys. They just have to be low nuts. It's literally what about the possible for uh, uh, well, they have the KKK. Because it, it's more likely that there is a shadowy organization called the Knights Templar than it is in this insane serial killer. Maybe you should play this video game called Deus Ex. Something important. Knights Templar aren't really a big deal in Deus Ex 1. And in, uh... No, he wasn't talking about the medieval Knights Templar, he was talking about how him and his friends formed the terrorist cell in Norway, which they were calling oh, the Knights Templar. Oh, oh, right. oh, I see. Yeah, but you see, uh, there's a lot cool. of white people claiming they're Knights Templars these days, so... I'd yeah. like to cut everyone that complains about us from all their foreign aid for a year or two, remind them that we are the good guys, then give it back. It'll have the added benefit of cutting down our debt a little. Uh, wait, what it's percentage of the federal budget is foreign aid? Again, like po like one. That's one if or that. less than one percent. Okay. It's like point three percent. That's one percent. The American education system at work for people. What I said, love us or die. That's Teddy Roosevelt's big stick. This is stop hating us when we're giving you free money. 
Some of it's ridiculous, like the millions we're sending to Russia. What have they ever done for us? Uh, this is the Hitler. This oh, is all that. Owned, owned. Well, to be fair, if you don't want Americans to keep bringing up World War II, you really can't. Like, give Russia Bunch of guys. Most of the dictators we supported in South America were to keep the communists out. The communists that got voted in were either because they were rebels killing everyone else, or the Soviets giving them kind of stuff to make communism look nice. Yes, Soviets were Uncle Sam. We and should cut all aid to China first. Everything good we sell them, they just try to rip off. Well, that's true. Well, you're welcome for all the free shit that saved you in World War II, all of Europe. Norway oh, paid us back. Any anyone else? The least you can do is support us. You know the guys who the guys who supplied the Russias with the jeeps that got their troops to the front line. You know who fed them and what? built their tanks? The USA. What? What? Then someone really? replies and says, "You are full of shit and know absolutely nothing." The Soviets did have a few trucks that they got from lend lease from America, but those didn't we were just like ship them on? Didn't we just ship them like 25 Dodge half tons and call it good or something? Oh, there were a few more than that, but they were big Dodges that they used for their catechusias, but uh... The Soviets literally rebuilt their infrastructure within a couple of months in the dead of winter while being bombed every day, so you know... The French helped us against the British for their own reasons, and I'd say World War One paid them back for that. Or do you want to go into how the America reinforcements were the main reason the Germans for the Eastern Front wiped the floor with you? I've just been awarded a Purple Heart for dying so much. I love you, Battlefield too. Actually, you only get the Purple Heart this guy for uh, getting shot Eastern in the ant. was basically one before oh, America landed. <laughs> no. I mean, Russia wanted <laughs> Russia wanted another front because they didn't want to lose any men that they didn't have to, but they could have won that all by themselves. He wants to nuke communist China and give it back to Taiwan, so... Let me guess, this guy's also an anime fan. I don't know how many purple hearts I've gotten. Well, his avatar an isn't... his avatar isn't anime, so... Yeah. You see, folks, I don't know what it is. Maybe I have a pair of glasses like on They Live, but I'm pretty good at seeing patterns that most people miss. That's right, the 8 million Germans... The 8 million Germans being tied up by the Americans and British in Italy, France, North Africa was is insignificant compared to the 1 million men fighting at first. I don't think the Germans had 8 million men through the entire war. Yeah, well, that might have been... Ah, they lost more than that, but it's... it's uh... It's more complicated than that, because first off, you can't just move men out of a front completely. You have to occupy it, and that takes a lot of troops. Like when they occupied Palestine. Or yes. Wall Street. Yeah. 